truck was laden with uh, copper plates, so we are deploying officers here to guard the copper plates. So, uh, Commissioner, what could have, from your preliminary investigations, what could have caused the accident? Uh, pre pre preliminary investigations reveal that uh, the bus driver was trying to overtake. So in the process, uh, his, his, his bus hit into the oncoming truck. So, 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 uh, colleagues, I think I wish also to just say, colleagues, oh. I from there. I'll speak from here. You already have that image, isn't it? You want to. Background of what? Maybe the truck. Maybe the truck. Okay, so uh, you can you can you can you can put it the way you want, but I think for for us, first of all, it's um it's a sad day, and as you can see here, what we are witnessing is an aspect of careless driving, no question about it, where the driver was rushing to wherever he wanted to rush to, with God's people on board, without due consideration. You are aware that a couple of weeks ago, again another Likiri driver plunged God's people into a passenger train in Mpika. Now, I think really this, as government, we've got to take a position once all the reports have been done, because we will not afford to auction people's lives like this. At some point, uh, we need to make a decision. RATSA, Ministry of Transport, and of course other stakeholders. We need to identify whether Likiri bus drivers are trained drivers or are people who were once, uh, if you like, uh, uh, assistant drivers, and just because they've got licenses now, they can drive God's people. I think that we've got to bring it to an end. And really that brings me to uh, an aspect of colleagues who doubt why this government wants to put a dual carriage way, where people want to marry politics to this. And I hear people somewhere in the wind, they want to talk about what they felt to do. We are, government of His Excellency President Haka Inde Hitchrema is trying to put a dual carriage way here. The essence of a dual carriage way is to make sure that the road carriages are reduced by and large. But you want to see people who want to politic around that area. You cannot be witnessing God's people dying like this and you want to attach politics. And similarly, my appeal is that I'm aware that Central Province uh, in the year 2017-2018 was allocated trauma center machinery that some people who, who never had the heart for Central Province migrated the machinery from here to wherever they took it. And I'm praying that uh, my appeal is to my colleagues at the ministry to make sure that uh, Kawe Central Hospital is given an X-ray machine, is given um, um, all the necessary equipments that have to do with the state-of-the-art trauma center. And also, really, we need to look at other hospitals like Mukushi and Liteta also to be given uh, trauma centers. Uh, equipment that will be able to uh, cater for uh, our people who may be involved in carnages. Today, if these colleagues, tomorrow it could be another one of us. And so you only feel the giganticness of it when you are on the ground and yours is involved. So I think as government we are doing everything possible to make sure that uh, these issues are attended to. For now, my appeal is to the Commissioner of Police to make sure that these copper plates that are here, none of these copper plates, not even a single one should grow legs. These are private people's uh, properties and would want to secure. We should show that we are organized here in Central Province, Commissioner. I do not want to, actually we must organize for um, transport immediately. 
If it means provincial administration providing transport quickly, you must secure these copper plates. And I will need to know from the driver who was on the, who has survived from the other truck, how much tonnages they were carrying. And these, they need to be weighed so that we know exactly that these copper plates are secured and none of, none of them should find themselves somewhere else. So from government's point of view, again, to say that should there be need, um, we are doing everything possible to make sure that our people, those that have lost their beloved ones, are taken care of. Thank you very much. Ndar, uh, come. How many tons were you carrying each? Uh, this one I don't know because this truck was loaded from uh, Congo. As we load from Chungola, so we were just on the same country. So you don't have but the papers? Normally, uh, they load 36, 35 tons. But am I saying that 65 times each? The others yeah. are on the other side. Oh, the other side. They are all yeah. over the show. No, this, are two, this is two trailers. It's a link trailer, this one. So it had this and that. Yes, you can see the other papers here. You were not, it was something like 35.9 something. Oh, these are the papers. So now some of the papers, we don't know now the papers where are they because yes, they'll be the moving with the security. The, security the, the driver doesn't have the papers. But there's a bag which is down there. Which, if we can manage to remove it, that's when we can get the details for the. So you are not getting that bag without the police. It's just down there. Where's your detail? Detail. 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 Or else I can confirm how many times so that yes, yes, confirm, but we don't want by word of mouth tomorrow we start accusing my officers that they've stolen your copy. I know they we might get the papers from there. We want to get the papers, papers from there. Well, some of the papers they scan from there so that side they know actual tonnage which is carried by the truck. Yes, it was. And you yourself, you yeah, this too, yeah? Well, this truck was going slowly, slowly. This truck from this side. It was going up. It was going up. But this bus now was cruising and he was trying to overtake because there are some other buses which are in front of this. Yeah, they were really moving. Yeah, so they were just moving in a country like this. So he was trying to overtake, but the time when he reached here, he didn't see that there's a truck coming from this side and we were following each other. So we are lucky because there was a space so that we were supposed to be involved, all of us. So you have been left the scene since to ensure that nothing has been taken away. Have you left the scene? Yeah. You haven't left the scene since? No, I haven't left the scene since from that time. So no one has been part No. No. Nah, our company is, is our, we have found our boss is coming. Where is he coming from? Where is he coming from? From Lusaka. But by the That's time the only we... thing maybe removed here is about the batteries of the truck. Where are they? They were taken by the that's Fire, 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 Those guys who came with the fire, fire They were maybe avoiding to catch fire. Yeah, maybe. I think yeah, so. I think that's it. Oh, this battery is from where? From the bus. From the bus. Oh, this is for the... So maybe detail here, going forward, what we need to do immediately. Let's extract what we need to extract, the documentation. Because documentation is key, number one. Number two, what we need is to make sure that these copper plates are secured. If it means um, uh, us releasing, do you have a truck, you guys? No. Or we get it, we can get a low bed from from ZNS. Our boss, they said they send it uh, another was to come and of uh, this. Then we can remove the stuff, put them on put the same train. Yeah. There is okay. are two trucks which are coming. The other one is coming to this get one, this they are already. Okay. They are already started. So we, we, are, we are not so going to do that without now. the police. Yes. Yeah. They are after Jisamba. From the time when I caught them, they were after Jisamba. With the truck? Yes. Mm. Even better. So let's just make sure that we guard this. And uh, we should not have a situation where when uh, they come here, someone cries wolf that my police officers uh, meant to their copper pro legs. But there are a lot of people here, and I'm hoping we are not the, the same ones that, that will make the copper pro legs. Guys, that's it. So now we are, we are actually live at the, at the accident scene. And uh, as you can see here, there are copper cathodes that was loaded in the in the truck. 
uh, the truck was, which was involved in a road ac traffic accident with uh, the Likiri Motorways Zongtong. Registration number BCF 212. Uh, we are still waiting for the other trucks and the tow truck that is coming to to tow out the the, the, the trailer and uh, also the other truck that is going to load the copper copper uh, cathodes. Initially, right now the PS, the commissioner. They are busy rehearsing how they can get the bag that is stranded down there where there are details and the tonnage of the copper th uh, cathodes that was loaded on this uh, Zimbabwean truck. So this is the Zengtong truck which was brought in the road accident and you can see the debris, the engine is out.